I didn't know if you knew this, but you and your Huskers suck this year. Okay? Nebraska sucks. Your team sucks. You guys are supposed to be a really good team. I thought this is the year that Nebraska Cornhuskers should run the table and probably get a playoff bid because I just thought the Big Ten looks pretty weak, and this is your op the, the Huskers' opportunity to take it. But when you get beat by Wisconsin, Michigan State, Minnesota, I mean, you guys suck. Suck, suck, suck. Oh, and Big Red, your team, you have this team that just looks like you're just primed to just dominate. You got Jimmy Graham. You got Calvin Johnson, Jay Cutler. Oh, you suck. Yeah, you suck, suck, suck. Okay? You got a Calvin who's injury prone. Well, he's not, he is injury prone. He, he, he gets injured at least a week or two every year. Jimmy Graham, he was due to get injured, and he did. But he did do good this week. Jay Cutler, maybe you should have stuck to your guns that you, you hate Jay Cutler. Every year you're like, oh, Jay Cutler sucks. He's horrible. And you go and make a trade for him. Well, ever since you made a trade for him, Jay Cutler has sucked. I don't know if it's just, you know, what, what's it called, karma or something because you smack talk so hard and so your smack talk just smacked your mouth, your own mouth. But anyway, I beat you with my crappy quarterbacks and my John Brown on that had to start. So it made me feel good that I beat you again. And not only did I beat you, but uh, I knocked you into the toilet bowl, buddy. You are toilet bowl bound. Nothing you can do to get you into the playoffs now. Nothing. Look at the point score. If you win, you'll have six wins. But guess what? There's somebody else who has a better point total than you. This is pretty amazing. Okay. Minivan Madness. Me and Pink Taco. We have clinched our divisions. And we're still all fighting for the one. I got a one or a two seed. That's, well, do I? Actually, no, I don't. I don't have a one or two yet. Because if I lose and the other two win, it's very possible that I'm the number three still. So we're all still fighting for the one, two, and three seed. But we are all the one, two, or three seed. As for the four, five, six, that would be either be the Devils, who just beat Biscuit Butt pretty easily, or Hawkeyes, who just beat the donkey, which donkey you put up 135 points, and I still don't know how, because you got Travis Cadet as one of your running backs, and Fred Jackson, who Fred Jackson finally came back and actually did something, you got zero out of your tight end, which, I mean, I, you could have started with Darius Green, but... I don't know, maybe you thought Julius was going to play and then have time to go switch it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you got beat by Hawkeyes. They've got 155 points. But I'm saving it. So, so right now the Devils has 1,868 points. And Hawkeyes has 1,892 points. But how about this? If you guys lose and also don't do that good in the scoring bracket, Fargan Bastages plays me this week. I still need a win. So if I was I was hoping one of, I was hoping I would I could try to, you know, lay an egg this week, but I can't. So Fargan Bastages, Derek, your team is in the playoff hunt. Yes, you. I know. Right? If the donkey loses He's out. Oh, wait. No, he's not out. What am I smoking? There's three spots up for grabs. More than likely, the Devils should get one of the spots. Uh, Hawkeyes should get one of the spots. And then the last spot will either be the Donkey or Fargan Bastages. If the Donkey wins, he's in. If Hawkeyes wins, he's in. If the Devils wins, he's in. But if one of those guys loses and Fargan Bastages wins, 
then the Fargan Bassages are probably going to make it because he's got 1,800 points right now, which is more than the donkey. So it'll be this is going to be a good finish for you. I'm rooting for you, Derek. I really am rooting for you. This is pretty pretty cool that you're actually in the playoff hunt this year on your second year playing. And it has nothing to do with you getting an Alfred Blue because Alfred Blue didn't do crap this week. Just letting you know. And I'm hoping Arian Foster is back this week. I kind of need him. Um, so anyway, obviously Cardiac Kids, Bad Influence, and Biscuit Butt and the Animals, you guys are all toilet bound. That was a given. So, and for this week's games, let's see. The Donkey plays Bad Influence. That could be a good game. Uh, the great game of the week is Minivan Madness versus Hawkeyes. That's a really good matchup. That's like a possibly a good playoff rematch. It could be a playoff game in the in the making there. Um, I play Frog and Bassages, which actually is a pretty good matchup too, because that got a good implications. Oh, and Devils versus Pink Taco. All those get three games there. Those are going to be really interesting games to watch out for. So anyway, uh, the Pickums. Oh wow, I'm in first. I didn't even realize that. I'm in first in the Pickums by one with Big Red Hawkeyes at four, uh, one behind me. Um, I'm going out of town next week or this coming Friday. So hopefully have. <laughs> internet access at least one of those days when I'm gone so I can set the playoff brackets and also the toilet bowl is just going to be a normal toilet bowl like we've been doing because the website is kind of complicated I can't really do what I wanted to do maybe next year I can with the toilet bowl being you know a total points three three game total points thing and highest team scored wins but I can't do it this year. I could, but it's just a lot of work, and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to do what we've been doing on that. I can't think of anything else. Nope, I can't. Except for I hope the Chiefs can pull out this victory. Gosh, I can't believe they lost to the Raiders. That was so... Uh, I was really so pissed. I was like... I, can't, I mean, I can't imagine what the score would be if that that Murray guy didn't con get a concussion. I mean, he was running all over us for those, was it, four hole carries? <laughs> all right, anyway, uh, I think that's it. So have a good Thanksgiving. Bye.